All right, guys, we're 84 here at 33rd and 10th. We have a uh, truck that uh, hit a fire hydrant and ruptured its saddle tank, emptied out all the uh, diesel fuel. I think it's about 30 gallons or so. Hazmat and uh, engine 44 is Hazmat Tech. Our, uh, in route or almost on scene. There's Hazmat pulling up now. We got a 21 truck, engine 34, stretch of precautionary line. Up the block. Make sure uh, no other vehicles are getting through, okay? Alright guys, I'm not exactly 100% sure where exactly the fire hydrant is, but uh, as you can see it leaked down the whole block here. Uh, we're going to see what hazmat. They're probably going to take the vacuum out and suck up uh, whatever they can. Right, we got engine 44 and there's second piece coming in. Hey, how you doing? 77 seven Alpha. Alpha. Hey Dave, uh, tell Manhattan we got uh, the leak diked and the one precautionary handline stretched. Right now, they got to cover up the drain, uh, the sewer drain there, so they don't get any more sewage into there. Hey guys, they're in the process of uh, putting Speedy Dry down, which is uh, oil reserve absorb. We hit a hydrant over here and ruptured the saddle tank and uh, fuel went all the way down the street.
looks like they're gonna get the uh, vacuum set up. kinds of hose uh, fittings up there. There's the fire hydrant that they hit and ruptured the saddle tank. They're in the process of hooking up, uh, I believe, to get whatever else uh, fuels inside to remove. second piece I believe usually the two decon firefighters are on this uh, second piece Uh, 
supervised positions on change. Stocking offload of approximately 50 gallons of uh, diesel. All right, so they're offloading 50 more gallons that are on the uh, tractor into the drum. Yeah, conditions unchanged. Beginning uh, offload with uh, hazmat and hazmat of approximately 50 gallons of diesel fuel. up hazmat one main piece up here Uh, taking all the fuel out of the uh, tanks 
Uh, they gotta take all those hoses and put them in a bag, decon, uh, so they don't get contaminated with anything else on board. Five and a half, we got uh, offloaded to complete, awaiting sanitation, PD, and a towing company for the tractor trailer. They wanted sanitation to bring a sand truck to put, because uh, this diesel fuel can be very slippery. Box uh, 707, the uh, offloading of the fuel is complete. Uh, just awaiting sanitation, PD, and a tow truck for the uh, tractor trailer that is disabled. Okay, Offloaded the fuel. Uh, somebody will come pick up the uh, cylinder of uh, diesel fuel. Uh, they're waiting on has um, sanitation to come with a sander to sand down this roadway. Speedy drive down, uh, down here, and hopefully has mad uh, sanitation. A uh, sanitation sander uh, comes soon, so they can uh, just put on a whole bunch more. All right, guys. So I'm not 100 sure on how the tractor trail wound up that way, but there's the hydrant. Portionary line stretched. This hydrant's out of service. Um, tagged by engine 54, and it don't have no uh, five-inch inlet. So engine 34 stretched with the high-pressure hose to the hydrant down here. Oh, 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 oh. Alright guys, they had another tractor pick up the trailer. The 34 is still here. Alright guys, they had another tractor over there pick up the trailer over there. They're getting ready to go. Uh, 
So what I'm hearing is the driver was trying to get close to the sidewalk, I guess, to park, and he didn't know the fire hydrant was there, and uh, this is what happened. Boy and Avenue Adam, blinding it from the roof. That's 575, yeah, it's 514-863. Avenue Boy and Avenue Adam, blinding it from the roof. 